here we are. We're in the workshop, and we have a lot going on in the winter time. We had a contributor ask uh, about the processing. So, in the winter time, we thought we'd break it down. In the T E N T uh, on the right there, we have microgreens and an assortment of different vegetables that are grown in there, in a medium of recycled boxes that we've cut up into two inch sections, rolled up and took one handful of the, the compost from out back, just one little handful in there. These are the onions waiting for their turn, but very minimal uh, uh, amount. So when you get them, like for example, this really, really big head of lettuce here, there'll just be all these wonderful uh, uh, roots that are just drinking um, out of this. Uh, mixture of compost and um, lychee and uh, not too much lychee but castings from worms these are all castings uh, of course we have uh, that looks like collard greens the spinach is doing very well and even this spinach as small as it is it's already starting to root out so by the time it gets to customers in a couple of weeks they should be much bigger and just easier uh, just to eat very clean that was one way uh, we had to uh, you know, show what's going on in the workshop because uh, YouTube has an algorithm uh, that blocked us from showing you what's inside the black uh, nylon uh, rectangular uh, three-dimensional object is in the right-hand corner of the place here at your left in the video. Uh, so we had to transport the biggest ones and the newest ones out here so you could just see what's going on. The microgreens are doing very well. They just started popping uh, right down here. These are the microgreens and they're going to be ready in a few weeks. Should be, be about three weeks left and they'll be done. That's another product that we have going out there. The worms are kicking butt in here. This is just where we uh, concentrate them heavily in, in mass amounts. And we'll take the household or residential compost, throw it in up top and then uh, just throw a little bit of handful of hay up top and next thing you know uh, you come back a week later, everything's been devoured by the worms. Concentrate the worms down again to the bottom to the point where all this is just basically castings and worms and worms. And then there's something in there like food. I try to uh, mock it so you know what's in there. You know that that's fresh and the other stuff is just filler. We usually get it from here uh, as far as the filler goes. We line the bottom of each worm tray with one of those because worms love to burrow inside of them. This is another one we have. Uh, this is more like a fly catcher. We're hoping that any uh, leftover flies that want to lay will find a place to live there so we could try to avoid paying for another set of black soldier flies because they're crucial. We have found some in the, in the compost here and we just transported them into 